this video presentation is a review for management and tracking of agile projects like Scrum or XP by using freeware tool called Spintometer. So at first I should create new project, select project type, extreme programming or Scrum, for example Scrum, then I should name it. and it's necessary to select estimation units in which I will estimate my tasks and will it which tracking will be done. For example, ideal hours. Then I should create sprint. First sprint and very important to define schedule for the sprint because application should know which dates will be work day workdays for the sprint and definitional schedule is done by definitional start and end date. For example I define Monday is start of my sprint and sprint will be lasting for three weeks and list is filled automatically but now I should exclude weekends from my schedule. And that's it. Now schedule of the sprint is defined and I select, select, should select last reported date to the first day before my sprint. This parameter is very important because it defines which column is the last one for time tracking. So application should know what's the current date for time reporting. Now I can click apply and add some user story for testing of my application. So and for example, this will be a simple user story for authentication. And finally, for user story, I should add development and testing tasks. For example, creation of DB table to store information about users and I should provide estimation. For example, 15 ideal hours, it's coding and for sure estimation should be uh, obtained during sprint planning session by planning game. I can add others tasks. For example, creation of business classes to support authentication. Let's define estimation 15 ideal hours. And one more development task. Um, home page. This is graphical user interface. Let's set six ideal hours. And finally, one more task for testers, because I assume my Agile team has tester, so I will call it testing of authentication. Estimation will be 15 ideal hours, and I should set work type testing for it. So now I have defined simple user story for my sprint. I can save my project into a file. By the way, it's possible to save project into compressed or not compressed XML file. If it's an compressed XML file, in this case it's standard format and you can use external tools to generate your own reports if necessary. And I call it my project file, for example. Now it's saved and I will show how time reporting is done. By the way, there is undo functionality so I can undo all my actions including modification of tree and can redo this. So I close my project and now 
For example, at the end of first day of a sprint, it's necessary to do time reporting. So each team member will open project and will report time spent for specific story. For example, first action should be selection of next reported date because application should know what's current time, current date of the sprint. So I just click here and it's automatically substituted first day of sprint and now I can see that column was added with editable cells and generally in application all cells which has dotted background are editable so I can also do time reporting on the level of user story here where I see all tasks right here and typical for Scrum I report for example I spent I believe five ideal hours of this task is done and I still have left 11 ideal hours and you see after apply current estimation is changed because originally it was 15 but because I just reported that I spent five ideal hours of the task and 11 is still left to do so current estimation is 16 testers can also in turn do their time reporting for example they can say okay I spent two ideal hours is done of the testing of authentication and if there is no value provided so there is no slash and value after the slash provided it will be calculated automatically so I just apply and because application knows original estimation it can calculate left time automatically 13 ideal hours. Now I can look at burn down. So this is for coding and its original estimation of sprint scope and because I know exact length of sprint I know uh, how many ideal hours team in average was making each day so I can always predict when scope will be done and this is prediction for coding you can look also for testing for testers and because I have just single story that it, I should finish my scope rather early and uh, but normally this line should go to the end of this sprint to August 19 in case of ideal situation we are completely on the track and it also uh, convenient to look the same information on the three-dimensional burn down let's do maybe a slightly changes in reporting to show it better um, here I can see simultaneously burn downs for all human resources of all type for example in this specific case I have programmers and testers on my project so I can see prediction for work for developers it's a green line and I can see prediction and progress of work for testers this is violet line so on one chart I can see immediately uh, for the whole project status depending on human resources type and if I need more human resources I can add here for example designers or architect or graphical user interface uh, developers so and in this case for each human resource type added here I will define tasks specific type and they will close this task and so I can see here uh, progress for all types of human resources of my project if it's complex and I do need different spe specialists on the, my project okay another interesting feature I can save my project to server so there are two options I can use other public sprintometer server which is free or I can use local sprintometer server and it's first it's necessary to register on public sprintometer server so I can go to connection tab and make sure that 
all settings here are completely the same as in my internet browser because Spintometer client uses web services to access Spintometer server that's address of public Spintometer server and here settings should be like in my browser then I can just click register new user and registration on Spintometer server it can be done from Spintometer client so from the same application I need just to provide some login and email name is optional but email is very important to have it real because uh, password password will be sent to this email this email should be valid after I register I already registered so I should provide login and password here to have access to public Sprintometer server and if it's correct credentials I can save my file to Sprintometer server so I just define name my project 5 for example and save it and now my project is saved to Spintometer server so I can access this project from any location where internet is available and what's more interesting I can close application and then I can open my project from server from recently used documents without any additional necessity to provide credentials selection of project etc so you see it's opened very quickly uh, another interesting feature is support for resources. For Sprint, I have tab called Resources and Budget. And here I can provide information about re human resources and calculate budget of my Sprint. I will open another project which has more information in this tab. And by the way, here I see that uh, for this project I have different types of human resources testers programmers architect user design user interface designers DB analysts and all they close their own task and so I can see progress on single chart and resources and budget I can provide people add people here and provide schedule of my resources for example if some person will go on vacation I will set here empty values, zero values one means full day, eight hours and here I can provide rates if I do need to calculate uh, sprint budget and project budget because if it's, there are some rates and uh, some schedule of resources provided for my sprint I have here automatically calculated a accumulative budget and budget for each day but this tab is necessary only if you have variable team resources during the sprint or if you'd like to manage budget inside sprint permitting and you see here I have variable team composition that's why I do need to use this tab and on the level of scope chart for example for developers you see a line is variable because team will be changing some people will go on vacation then I will have another additional team members that's why prediction is different and I can see this on three-dimensional and on normal down down also interesting feature is that sometimes I need product backlog and it's possible to support it in sprintometer I can define my task just define sprint called product backlog like a dummy sprint and define all user stories for the sprint with very high level uh, tasks just called development and testing and if necessary I can clone by using control key plus drag and drop task from, task from my product backlog to my sprint for example emailing I can click control and drag and drop it to my sprint so then I can change list of tasks if necessary and estimations 
to provide more information on it. This is the main um, overview and if you have further questions you can open about dialog and click here question or note to send a mail to us and usually we answer during one business day to the request. Thank you.